Hi, it's Chris from Tech Innovations. Let's take a look at what else Instacook can cook and go from there. It's just a bit of a pre-prep there. Now what we're going to do today is we're going to steam some vegetables. I'm going to put the lid on. Just watch that snap on. We're going to add our water. As you can see it's steaming away there. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're just going to pop our veggies into the Instacook. Wait for it to heat up a little and steam up a little. Get those veggies out. I don't eat enough veggies. I should. I promised myself I'm going to start eating more. New Year's resolution, but we'll see how that goes. But I do love this device. Carrots, because I don't eat enough carrots. So the doctor keeps telling me. Okay, let's take a look. So we'll mix that up a little. Put too many carrots in there. Some cauliflower. Some beans. And broccoli, which is one of my favorites actually. So what I'm going to do at this point, I'm going to close the lid. That's enough water. water. Maybe just a little bit more. Here it's boiling away there. Let's close the lid and get ready some, for some real action. Let that steam up. Now with this, as you can see, the lid is at 28 degrees just so you know people you don't need this thermometer to cook i only use it for demonstrations just to sort of show you what temps it gets up to so it'll get up to between around about 240 degrees in there so it's, the thermometer is only useful on hard reflective surf surfaces and not enough carrots, but as you can see, with the clear lid, it will start steaming up soon and we probably won't be able to see the veggies. But today, we are cooking veggies. So this may take about five minutes. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just kick back, relax, and um, let Instacook do what it does best, and that's cook. Anyway, I've been demonstrating this for people, showing how versatile it is. So the next one we'll be doing is we'll be cooking, we'll be, uh, we'll be cooking chicken, raw chicken, to cook chicken, and we're going to eat that with our veggies. So protein, vegetables, covered for the day. Now all I need is my fruit. I drank fruit juice. I drink a lot of fruit juice, though. I don't know how that, if that counts. So steer away from my addiction of soft drink, which I'm guilty of way too much soft drink so it'll keep steaming away here we're probably looking at about five minutes to get it properly steamed we don't want it to be hard and crunchy i like my steamed vegetables to be still crisp but definitely moist with this when you cook when you cook your veggies in the microwave you're losing lots of the nutrients with this with this device you're steaming it just like you would on a conventional stovetop keeping the nutrients in keeping it portable basically doing this anywhere in your room on your bed holiday house at home at your desk at work in the park Doing yoga? No, not really. That was an attempted joke. So what we're going to do is let it steam up here for a while. As you can hear, it's boiling away in there. And once that steams up, we're going to toss it just a little bit. Not that we need to. The beauty about this unit is you honestly just have to put the food in, close the lid. Uh, the only things you probably the only things that will need to stir are not stir but turn over is bacon or chicken like we're going to be demonstrating obviously at some point we have to flip it over 
Uh, with veggies, steamed veggies, simply just pop it in there, put some water, turn it on, wait for it to heat up like it's done now, and steam away. I could cut this video from beginning to end so you don't have to sit here watching it the whole time but I'd rather be completely honest and show you how it all works and from beginning to end I did warm it up just a little bit at the beginning warmed it up for about a minute or two it is boiling in there they are steaming Got some salt and pepper here, which I'll pop on after. So next time I open the lid, we'll pop some in there just to give a bit more flavour. Let's open it up and see how they're going in there. That's pretty good. Oh, they're pretty much ready. Yep. I'm going to pop some salt and pepper in there. As you can see, it's boiling away. I'm going to let it boil for another minute or two. Yeah. Well, it's definitely boiling away in there. I probably put too much water you don't need to put that much water when you're steaming vegetables I went a little bit overboard would have been a lot quicker with less water but we live we learn yes we do well some of us learn I know a few people who don't learn good people <laughs> Good people, poor decisions, <laughs> which I've made a few mistakes myself in the past. So one good thing about getting older is the wisdom that comes with it. So it's really out of boil now. So I like my carrots caramelized versus to the point of yeah to the point where they're caramelized just like them they taste a lot better than the raw stuff the raw stuff is not my cup of tea but cooked steamed baked all very yummy let's take a little bit should be done by now oh, it looks pretty done to me yep yep that's done Holy flowers done all right so that's all going soft and cooked and steamed all right well what we're going to do now is we are going to turn the device off <clears throat> as you can see it's still boiling away there we're going to get our steamed veggies we're going to put them into a clean bowl which Okay, ah, that actually is hot. Okay, um, doesn't just look like it's boiling. A bit of a delayed reaction on that one. Okay, let's take a look. It's our steamed veggies for today. Almost boiled next time, less water. Well, as you can see, we've got our veggies here. Gonna put some pepper and some salt, mix that around a little. Next, we'll be cooking some chicken. So, over and out, people. 
show you what else it can do next time. Thank you.